Today, the city of Jacksonville's Military Affairs and Veterans Department invited the public to lay wreaths at the Veterans Memorial Wall in honor of Jacksonville's fallen heroes. News for Jack reporter Zach Lashway brings us to the site just outside TIAA Bank Field. This is the second largest veterans memorial wall in the country. More than 1,700 names of men and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Two were added this year. It feels different. For the first time since the start of the pandemic, people were welcomed back to lay wreaths at Jacksonville's veterans memorial wall. If you remember in 18 and 19, the mall was packed. There are 3,000 people here. Retired Lieutenant General Michael Linnington is the CEO of Wounded Warrior Project. We serve um, living wounded, ill, and injured, but many of those we serve, their loved ones. At the Memorial Wall, the Woods family paying respects to their fallen hero, father and husband, George Woods. To help celebrate his life and the fact that today would have been his 71st birthday. I'm crying. <laughs> is today difficult? Is it hard? Kind of hard. It's like, try not to cry. <laughs> because you think about how he passed. And I had just talked to him two days before he passed. And to be home with two little boys and a baby was kind of hard. You talked to him two days before he passed. Um, he was an ejection seat and canopy specialist for the Marine Corps. And Navy P-3 tried to make an emergency landing, but it hit the hangar and blew it up. Do you remember that last conversation? He just wanted to know how this, the boys were doing. And he was going to call me again that weekend. That call that weekend never came. And that weekend the call never came. Just the Keiko officers showed up at the door. The Woods' youngest son, Kevin, was just 17 months old at the time his father was killed on duty in the Philippines. Following in your father's footsteps, did this bring you closer to him? Of course it did. I mean, growing up, I never knew him. I just knew pictures of him. So, and, you know, everybody says I look just like him. He does. Days like today are near and dear to the Woods' heart and loved ones to those who gave their all. In Jacksonville, Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station. The City of Jacksonville's Memorial Day observance will be released on Memorial Day at 8 o'clock a.m. on the city's website and YouTube channel. The director of the department tells News for Jax he hopes next year's observance will be held in person.